Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Mindia. Today we will discuss about rheumatoid arthritis. And for that, we have in our studio a famous neuropsychiatrist, Dr. Zakir Hossein Loskar. Welcome, Doctor. Welcome. Today we are going to discuss about rheumatoid arthritis. We will discuss about the disease very briefly but we will cover everything about rheumatoid arthritis. So keep watching. My first question is what is rheumatoid arthritis? arthritis. Yes, actually um, it is related to joint pain. Okay. So when patient experience extreme uh, swelling, burning sensation in the joint and inflammation of the joint that is called rheumatoid arthritis. But I should say it is it is a chronic disease it is a progressive disease progressive means within a short span of time patient experience severe condition if it is untreated if it is not treated properly and it is also called autoimmune disease okay. inflammation occurs in the synovium of the joint and subsequently the lining of the joints are compromised leading to subsequent joint damage joint also um, experience damage and deformities come in the long run okay. okay and one thing is important rheumatoid arthritis is not just a disease of joint all kind of joints it also affects our body also it affects our other great organs in our body such as skin eyes lungs kidney and heart as well okay one thing is important uh, we have learned a disease osteoarthritis but one thing osteoarthritis is a it is also a joint joint related disease but it is a degenerative disease degenerative bone and cartilage disease but rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease okay. symptoms are almost similar but we have to diagnose differentially to treat the disease rheumatoid arthritis okay. and sometimes um, patient experience uh, uh, physical weakness great uh, weakness and debility uh, in rheumatoid arthritis which is not prevalent in osteoarthritis okay so will you please tell us about the symptoms of symptoms. rheumatoid yes, I have, arthritis I have, I have just told that joint swelling and uh, joint pain is uh, common okay. actually affected joints may feel tender may feel warm affected joints become warm tender and appear swollen as well swelling is important uh, most of the patient experience uh, stiffness especially stiffness uh, occurs in the very morning and within 3-4 hours it subsides. After 3-4 hours uh, 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 stiffness symptoms are subsided and mental fatigue and physical debility and weakness is common in most of the patients. Those who I have been uh, practicing uh, I experience from their um, case history that they are having fever and weight loss as well. Most of the patient experience febrile condition and one important symptom um, in this regard is that it is a symmetrical disease we say it is a rheumatoid arthritis is a symmetrical symptom disease it means if your knee joint is affected both the knees will be affected simultaneously if your shoulder joint is affected both the shoulders will be affected si simultaneously okay. in comparison with osteoarthritis what happens in osteoarthritis if you have osteoarthritis in your uh, right knee joint maybe your knee joint is okay, okay. so uh, uh, regarding rheumatoid arthritis we should say we say it is a symmetrical symptom disease and uh, other forms of uh, um, joint diseases are there so many diseases are there arthritis uh, gout hmm. but we have to differentiate a diagnosis that it is a case of rheumatoid arthritis okay so before coming to the diagnosis part i'd uh, like to ask you that uh, why it happens what, what why are the causes happens? of yes, rheumatoid yes. arthritis in medically it, it is it we, we say it is the eti etiology what is the etiology cause yes actually as it is an autoimmune disease so some autoantibodies are formed as a form of rheumatoid factor and some it, it is called anti nitrated protein antibodies it is okay. formed and it affects the immune immune cells of the synovium and when immune cells of the synovium are infiltrated, patient experience inflammation, swelling of the knee joint. Because of proliferation of synovial cells, it, is, it, it happens. Uh, and it also damages the 
cartilages as well surrounding the joints. Uh, but one important theory is that some genetic susceptibility is important to, um, to, um, to progress the disease. Actually, if any member of the family, old member of the family have been experiencing rheumatoid arthritis, other members of the family may also susceptible, may be affected from this disease. Sometimes en environmental triggers, environmental predisposition is important. Uh, uh, nowadays, it is uh, proven by uh, researchers that smoking is the key cause of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So, we have to um, quit smoking um, immediately. And what about alcohol? Al yes, alcohol, is, uh, alcohol triggers this disease. Okay. And one thing, in infectious prone people, people who have been working in the exposure, Actually, it is called occupational hazards. Who are having occupational hazards, they also experiencing uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Like, like, will you please uh, elaborately? Suppose say this? Um, uh, someone is working in um, cold mine. Okay. So these these kind of areas where um, infections and unhealthy exposures are prevalent. Okay. So people have been working there. They are experiencing this kind of rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, nowadays. Another kind of research have been uh, come in the floor. It is hormonal imbalance. Okay. Hmm. It may be occurred both male and female. Some because of some hormonal changes, rheumatoid arthritis factors are triggered. It is told. Okay. So you are talking about uh, lifestyle disease. Yes. So if we check the uh, uh, lifestyle, yes. if we uh, maintain correct, proper lifestyle, yeah. if we maintain proper lifestyle, we can manage. We can manage the disease. Okay. So after that, uh, I, I want to ask you about the diagnosis. How can we diagnose diagnosis. this uh, yes. disease? Yes. When when uh, patient comes to us, when patient comes to us with uh, joint pain. They don't know it, it is a case of rheumatoid what arthritis, kind of arthritis or whether it is a um, what kind of arthritis or whether it is a it is a case of osteoarthritis or osteoporosis. Mm. They only they only um, explain their symptoms, okay. um, having uh, joint pain, joint swelling, joint inflammation. So um, uh, after having physical examination, we prefer to confirm the to confirm the diagnosis. We prefer to ask them to do some uh, blood tests. Most important test is a rheumatoid factor test. Okay. If it is diagnosed positive, so it is a sure case of rheumatoid arthritis. But to um, confirm the diagnosis, anti-CPP antibody test is also done. Sometimes erythrocyte sedimentation rate, that is RBC related tests are also done. And um, certain test is C-reactive protein, CRP test. These kind of blood, blood tests are done to, uh, to, um, to diagnose, to, di to confirm the case. Okay. And, uh, for the progression of the treatment, sometimes uh, we homeopathic doctors are required some uh, um, imaging tests uh, in the form of in the form of you can say X-ray or ultrasonography or um, MRI magnetic resonance scan because as it is a progressive disease to arrest the progression, sometimes it is required. Okay. These are the tests which is required. Okay. So, we have learnt many things about uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. My next question is how can we uh, prevent the disease or how can we treat the disease? Treat the disease. Yes. Uh, uh, we should discuss management and treatment separately. So, um, I encourage all of you that uh, you need not be panicked. Uh, management without medicine is most important. When it is, when the disease will be in acute stage, all of us without being panicked, can manage, well manage the um, condition uh, through our conscious effort. First okay. of all, we have to do low impact aerobic exercises. Okay. What are those? Cycling, running and walking are the aerobic exercises. But you have to make sure that as much as you will practice, you have to uh, maintain the balance that uh, after having walking, after having cycling, after having uh, swimming, you are not uh, feeling pain in your joint. So, you have to, um, you have to, um, how long, how much exercise you will do, you have to. That is the criteria. That, that is the criteria. We can uh, go for cycling or swimming yes. till we do not uh, have the pain. Pain in our, in our joints, in our joints. affected joints. Okay. And one important uh, criteria is strength training. Okay. It strengthens the joints. Sometimes we, we, we prefer to say uh, uh, flexible exercises. Yoga is most important in this regard. It is called flexibility exercise. Sometimes a range of motion exercises are, uh, should be done under the guidance of uh, physiotherapist.
as uh, physical therapy is most important to uh, to manage to manage rheumatoid arthritis we um, ask patients to go to the physiotherapists they will guide you and uh, they will uh, help you how much exercise and how long you will do in which way they will guide you properly mm -hmm. uh, sometimes occupational therapy is required to uh, manage the case and in our society there are uh, so many um, powerful and efficient occupational therapists they will also guide us and uh, important thing is diet and nutrition because as rheumatoid arthritis is a is a disease we, we can we, we, we say it is an autoimmune disease so so anti it is an anti-inflammatory uh, inflammatory disease so we have to take some anti-inflammatory foods in our daily habit okay. so nuts all kind of nuts are having anti-inflammatory properties and omega-3 fatty acid is also rich source of anti-inflammatory properties uh, deep sea fish are rich, rich source of omega-3 fatty acids we can have it we can um, um, keep all those things in our daily menu and besides uh, patients patients have to maintain healthy weight balance if you are obese you, if you are having uh, obesity you have to maintain it if you are thin built you have to maintain it properly proper weight maintenance is important as you have diagnosed with this disease so patient some patient um, some some patient comes to us uh, having a stress problem they are having uh, stressful situation so they can maintain and they can manage their stress through um, relaxation techniques like meditation mindfulness practices etc um, i hope all of you understand how to uh, do meditation easily and adequate rest is also important if joints are getting rest properly so healing process will be easier uh, sometimes heat and cold therapies are important uh, suppose we 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 um, ask patients to do to take warm baths hot packs and electric blankets are also available in nowadays market so um, to manage joint and uh, aponeurosis and also muscles to improve so that patient get uh, relieved from their pain heat treatment is important Alternately, cold treatments also helps well. Suppose applying ice packs are very beneficial. Uh, we know um, uh, sports persons use ice packs to manage their um, joint pain. So um, patients who are having rheumatoid arthritis, they can do so. Uh, there are some supportive devices as well, braces, various kinds of shoes are important. Those are called um, assertive devices. It can manage Mm, uh, all kinds of all kinds of joint related pains some alternative therapies may help i can i can tell you that mm, to some extent acupuncture can help maintain uh, mm, rheumatoid arthritis okay. some gentle massaging massage therapy is important but it should be under the guidance of efficient massage therapist and you have to maintain your lifestyle adjustment you have to quit smoking you have to quit alcohol you have to um, you have to add you have to have adequate sleep and certainly you have to limit alcohol if you can uh, completely stop taking alcohol it will be better if these kinds of procedures are uh, done a regular basis you will not be able you you need not go to your doctor okay okay but uh, if as it is a, a chronic disease and it is autoimmune disease and progressive so patients who are having rheumatoid arthritis with advanced stage they should go to the homeopath doctors and as i have been practicing these diseases i can tell you uh, for um, for your knowledge i can tell you that self medication is harmful so you you, you must not take medicine um, personally you go to your doctor you go to your family physician well versed in these diseases they will guide you they will prescribe for you and within four to six months this disease can be well managed uh, for your guidance i can tell uh, some medicines which um, i have used since long some constitutional homeopathic medicines one is ledum palster 1m one is sanguinaria canadensis 1m these two medicines as a constitutional medicine works well in rheumatoid arthritis to manage the case properly to maintain the acute stage of the disease sometimes a complementary medicine which is colchicum 200 i prescribe 
as a constitution and medicine when I use sanguinaria canadensis 1M or leaden star 1M, I use one dose once a week for three months. It works well. Besides, when the case is being advanced, I prescribe Actia spicata mother tincture. It is a great medicine in homeopathy which works in all types of rheumatoid arthritis, all stages of rheumatoid arthritis. If 25 drops of Actia spicata mother tincture is taken with a little bit of water twice a day for 15 days, patient is patient will experience great relief. Sometimes for the older people having rheumatoid arthritis, I prescribe lithium carbonicum 3x. It is a trituration. If it is taken three grain spoon of lithium carbonicum 3x thrice a day for a week or a fortnight, patient will be relieved shortly. So combinedly constitutional homeopathic medicines along with therapeutic doses if it is uh, taken by the efficient prescriber patient will be relieved will be this disease rheumatoid arthritis will be managed within four to six months okay okay, okay. thank you very much doctor dr jackie hoshan loskar has given you uh, briefly all the things about rheumatoid arthritis he has described how we can identify it, what are the causes and what are the symptoms, how we can diagnose it and finally the management part and the treatment part. But remember one thing that without consulting doctors, please do not take medicines. That is very, very important. Do not take medicine by yourself. Always consult a doctor and then take medicine. That's all for now. See you in the next episode. Yeah. <sighs>